Beautiful shot of Falls Park there. Good morning. This is Kel Land on the go with all I need to know in news and weather as you begin your day. Police in Aberdeen say the people responsible for several thefts from vehicles were arrested in Minnesota. Over the last week, Aberdeen police have been posting surveillance videos of the suspects believed to be connected to reports of thefts and stolen vehicles. Investigators received several tips that helped to identify the suspects. Police were notified over the weekend that the suspects were taken into custody after a pursuit with Minnesota authorities. Investigators say the vehicle they were driving was stolen. The three suspects are juveniles and were on probation. Aberdeen police believe these three suspects were involved with at least eight thefts, five stolen vehicles, and three stolen guns. They'll be brought back to South Dakota to face charges. A 17-year-old is facing a felony charge after authorities say the teen attempted to order a hit on a 7-year-old. Storm Lake, Iowa authorities were alerted on Friday that a report that someone had visited the parody website called rentahitman.com twice. Officers went undercover to make contact with the suspect and found the solicitation to be a credible threat. The 17-year-old was charged with solicitation to commit murder. Today is election day in Rapid City as people elect a new mayor. Five candidates are vying for the position, including Laura Armstrong, Brad Estes, Josh Lyle, Jason Solomon, and Ron Wiefenbach. Current mayor Steve Allender is not seeking re-election. People also vote for candidates vying for city council positions. Polls are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Kelland News will be following the election and will bring you the results as they come in. Now let's get a check of our forecast with meteorologist Brian Karstens. More hot weather today, Brian. Absolutely. Same talking points apply to today. Here's the reason why. Look at the map. So you've got high pressure ridge, a big block over northern North Dakota. This has been the influence of this Canadian air mass, which has been a little interesting, hasn't it, to see these temperatures so warm and only hits of rain here and there. And when we do get some rain, it's moving in from Minnesota, typically. That's what happened yesterday. We could do that again today. Just a few more of these random hits of rain east in between any of that. It's a hot afternoon, 94. And here on 93 at Mitchell, most of us will stay dry. That's a quick look at weather. The full forecast coming up. Thank you, Brian. It's that time of the year. Now the weather has warmed up, the bugs are back, and the city of Sioux Falls is now spraying for mosquitoes. Mosquito control stars spraying last night in five of the 18 zones across the city. Vector control program coordinator Denise Patton says the conditions were perfect for spraying. That spray is just a mixture of water in that teaspoon of active ingredient, and we want it to hover as long as possible in the air because that's the only way that it'll come in contact with the mosquito and knock it down. So the windier it is, the sooner that breaks up and, and dissipates and it's not any good. And um, you know, if it's too still, it's just not gonna get moved around into the, the water or the air column so that we can get to them. To see when the mosquito spray truck will be in your neighborhood, we posted a link right here on Kelloland.com. Adopting an animal from the Sioux Falls Humane Society just got a little easier. You no longer need to make an appointment to adopt an animal. Pre-screened people can now browse the kennels to pick out the right pet for them. Change is aimed at getting animals adopted faster. And the Great Plains Zoo recently had to say goodbye to two of its own animals. Kamadi the black rhino and Solstice the giraffe are leaving the Great Plains Zoo. Kamadi was moved to a zoo in Florida as part of a recommendation from the black rhino species survival plan. Solstice was moved to a zoo in Oklahoma, also as part of a species survival breeding plan. The Great Plains Zoo says these programs are essential to ensure the genetic diversity and physical health of the animals in its care. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right, our weather forecast as we look ahead to the conditions here today. Another hot afternoon, upper 80s, low 90s, very common, central, eastern kettle land. And uh, yeah, you guessed it, these little spots on radar, they come back. Yesterday, it was Sisseton that picked up uh, dousing rain just around the city. We had some rain gauge reports of between an inch and a half and two inches of rain there. Uh, but again, that's kind of the story, isn't it? You roll the dice, you see where a couple more of these hit. We might see one or two in northwest Iowa, maybe around Sioux Falls. Can't rule that out. And then whatever does develop, it's falling apart tonight. 
Same cycle of weather tomorrow morning. Now tomorrow, the chance of rain comes back again in the afternoon. However, there seems to be a growing uh, body of evidence that this activity around Sioux Falls, maybe southeast South Dakota, uh, a few more cells, you know, some ones that, you know, might actually produce some better rains and uh, cover a little more real estate. Now, I'm not going to promise widespread rain on that, but we're kind of watching that. So keep checking back in on the forecast there with that. At any rate, uh, by Thursday and Friday, rain chances will start to get a little better the farther, farther west you live. Here's kind of a recap of that scenario. This is based off the European model. So it develops uh, that Wednesday night rain right there. It's maybe a little more positioned in southwest Minnesota, northwest Iowa. But see what it does the following afternoon and evening? It kind of parks it west of Sioux Falls a little bit more. And then by Friday, that's when we've been advertising the Black Hills in western South Dakota. And there it is. I know that rain looks a little more promising that direction. So if that ends up being the case, uh, you know, we could repeat that again Saturday. The Black Hills and to Nebraska, and eventually most of Kettleland, we're going to get an installment of some cooler, drier air for the weekend. So that's kind of the next step here in this whole pattern process. Let's break it down. Highs today, 93. Mitchell, 90. And Chamberlain, your seven-day forecast. Uh, we are going to see the cooler weather by day six and day seven. We'll take advantage of that because uh, the tendency is for the numbers to go back up maybe next week. Obviously, it's important to pick, catch some rain when we're in a pattern like this. Now our topsoil really gets more sensitive to uh, the evaporation that's going on just due to the hot weather. We're consistently now 10 to 12 degrees above the averages. Aberdeen, it's at least that much too. Hit and miss rain can't be ruled out. Even today, we could argue for that a little bit. I would say Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, those are all fair 20% chances. Okay, So we're going to just leave it at that. Pier 2, that 20 to 30% range of rain Thursday, Friday. Notice we get to knock the temperature down, though, for the weekend. And Rapid City, I still think that area, Friday, especially, and maybe into Saturday, that looks like a pretty healthy chance of rain. We may be upping those percentages as we continue to analyze the pattern. Check out more details online at kettleland.com.